I see there's a lot of people that are already very familiar with dgroups. Um, some might be a little less familiar of, or have heard about dgroups uh, just briefly, so I want to take just this opportunity to give you a little bit more information uh, and hope it's useful for you. Um, so when we tend to talk about dgroups, uh, it can be, you know, a, a lot of different things to different people. We tend to talk about it in three ways, and I'll just take you through that. Um, most fundamentally, I think it's a partnership. Uh, we see dgroups as a, as a partnership of development organizations who collectively strive for international development and social justice. That's something that, that is at the, the basis of all our work. Um, and if you look at this slide here, you'll see some of the logos of some of the key partners. And you'll see that we have 15 full partners at the moment. Uh, we have nine associate partners, and we have just recently introduced a new category of project partners um, that we can talk about a little bit more. Overall, the D-Group's uh, um, partnership is, is managed by a foundation, the D-Group's foundation. And it was established in 2009 in the Netherlands. Um, and as you see now, it comprises these different partner organizations. And the organizations really use uh, D-Groups to, to meet their need of, of having online groups to support their own work um, in terms of having communities, communities of practice, communities of information but also to commit to collaborating um, in development. So instead of having only in-house and internal systems, to really be using cross-organizational kind of communities of practice and foster collaboration across different organizations as well. You'll see these different membership options um, and the different fees that come with them and the different rights also, the, the different fees also come with different rights. Um, perhaps not to go into too much detail, but if anybody's interested in the differences between the different partnership options, then it's on the dgroups information page, which we can share with you also uh, briefly after, after this uh, webinar. Um, but basically what we all come together around is this dgroups vision of a world where every person is able to contribute to dialogue and decision making for international development and social justice. So that the, the spaces for dialogue and decision making are opened up and information is shared much more broadly than in the silos, perhaps technical silos or organizational silos that exist within our sector. This is something that we all believe in and, and that we commit to by being part of the, of the partnership. A part of, apart from the partnership and, and what you're probably most familiar with is the platform um, that powers dgroups. It's in actual fact, it's a web-based platform um, and it's hosted and maintained by WA Research in Switzerland. It's something, a platform that is, that is recently being referred to as the community cloud. So you might be sometimes hear different words, the dgroups platform, the WA Research platform, the community cloud platform, but basically there's one platform that's powering all of these groups uh, and all of this communication that's happening through the groups. Um, just to talk a little bit about the platform, at the moment there's 700, more than 700 communities, and they take different shapes, different forms, public or private, so closed or open to the public, moderated or unmoderated from many different sizes, some having thousands of members to very small working group type, um, type groups of just a couple of people, really as, uh, as per the need um, for that particular group. Overall, there's almost 300,000 300, registered users on the dgroups platform, again, differing from members of international organizations or government agencies uh, to local and national level NGOs, interested individuals, professional groups that are making use of it, so a very diverse user base um, in all of these different communities. And the platform is actually enabling the delivery of, of more than 400,000 email messages daily. So this is really the, the power of the dgroups platform, as many of you will have uh, experienced, I think, as well, is that it really operates from uh, professionals' inboxes, so email inboxes. It doesn't require any sort of going to a web-based platform or commenting on on threads that have that have you know multiple logins. It really comes into the user's individual inbox and and operates from there. That's also key to its simplicity. Uh, we keep hearing this back from 
from many of the user communities is really that it that it it doesn't take any sort of technical knowledge to be able to engage in dialogue using using these groups. It's multilingual. The user interface is available in English, in French, in Spanish, Portuguese, Chinese, and Russian. Uh, and perhaps also very importantly, you just use the tool in the language in which you are you are hosting the dialogue. Um, it's flexible and scalable. Um, so each D group workspace allows for customizable individual profile members, and they can be grouped by country or customizable email delivery preferences from, you know, from immediate delivery to daily delivery to weekly kind of summaries. There's basic stats tools, uh, basic usage reports, like we said before, open or closed groups. There's also RSS and API facilities to be able to integrate uh, a D group in uh, other web pages, for example. Uh, very importantly, also for many, it's non-commercial and it's respectful of privacy. So you might ask yourself, why don't we just go for a Google group or, I guess, formerly a, a Yahoo group? Um, and that's really one of the big reasons why people use dgroups as well, that it, it sits within our own servers. There's no advertising. There's no, the data isn't being shared with, with third parties that are then using it for their purposes. Um, this is one of the, the very big reasons why people do go for the use of the dgroups platform. And because it's, uh, because it's really email focused, it can, it's used really to, to target especially low bandwidth users. And that's something that we really try and safeguard as all the technology developments go on so, so quickly, we really try and safeguard that it remains email as a core and a very light web-based interface just the, the essence and the, the essential functionalities. Um, so a partnership, uh, a web-based platform, and the third element that we use to talk about dgroups is that we see it as a global public good. We really see uh, uh, the partnership making the platform available to actors across the development sector and thereby um, hosting a large family of discussion groups related to international development. Um, which we really see as a strength and an, and an opportunity of dgroups. Um, so um, the focus, sorry, the focus then really is not about building fancy technology. And sometimes we get these questions, well, can dgroups do this? Can dgroups do that? And we're really trying to safeguard that it's not fancy technology, but that it really maintains what works and what is sustainable over time. Uh, not just in terms of financial sustainability, but also in terms of, and especially in terms of access and use. Um, we really try to see that it's effective and flexible, uh, that, that group administrators or list uh, administrators can focus on the content and don't need to spend time in answering technical questions, or um, that it really focuses on, on, on supporting a variety of organizational processes in terms of communication, collaboration, information sharing, so not to be too specific in its use application, but to really be able to provide a, gen a generic tool that meets many different needs. Um, so again, I mean, as part of the, the, the foundation and the partnership, we see a shared ownership of the dgroups platform. And our intention is really to contribute to reducing the duplication and fragmentation of online communities. So really trying to uh, encourage many different groups to join within this larger dgroups family. Um, and then much more importantly, so I hope that was useful as a, as a background, but more importantly, it'll be interesting to see how some of our key member organizations and partners are making use of the platform. Thank you.